everyone, my name is Rachel Young and I'm here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center and it is officially winter time. With the leaves off the trees and the humans mainly indoors, you might think that you would see or hear more wildlife in the winter time, but that's not always the case. We have animals like bears and bats that are hibernating or in torpor for the deeper part of the winter. And then we have animals like birds and butterflies that are making an incredibly tough journey to get to warmer weather. But what about our fish? Well, our fish are still here in the water. They are just much less active. Our fish in Kentucky are pretty well adapted to seasonal temperature and weather changes. And remember, fish are cold blooded. So their body temperature is going to match their environment. So the colder water will slow them down while they wait out the winter for the spring. Fish in the winter do still eat, just not as much as they do in the summertime. And if the water freezes, the ice layer on top of the water actually is more dense than the water itself and will provide insulation to the fish in the water below, keeping them warm. Now, strategies vary from fish to fish for surviving in the winter time. And here in Kentucky, we tend to classify our fish by the type of water that they like. So we have warm water fish, cool water fish, and cold water fish. For example, a warm water fish might be a largemouth bass. They like warm water, so naturally they're going to gravitate towards the warmer areas of the lake or pond that they're in, which tends to be the deeper areas. On the flip side of that is the cold water fish, which could be a rainbow trout. They like cold water, so they're naturally going to do better than the bass would in the winter time. They're going to go downstream a little bit, maybe wait behind a rock for bugs and other organisms to come downstream and eat them. So they're going to eat more than maybe a warm water fish would. Now, big fish like our catfish, for instance, those guys tend to group up together in the deeper pools of the lakes, hang out in groups and become really aggressive feeders. Now, a common misconception about fishing in the winter is that you can't because the fish aren't biting and that's not necessarily true. The fish will bite and some of the best fishing in Kentucky can be done in the winter time. For more information on winter fishing in Kentucky and for more educational videos, visit our website at fw.ky.gov. Thanks for watching.